Gentlemen, I got a new car. All right, so let me just start this video off by saying that I love the mom car. I still do. Best car I ever had, right? But something kind of happened, something changed, and I was like, you know what? It's time. It's time to really embrace who I am and the type of car that I deserve. All right, so for those of you who've been following me for a while, you kind of know that I don't have the best track record when it comes to cars, all right? My first car that I absolutely loved was my Infiniti, right? My G35, it was a 2007. It was an amazing car, and I loved it, and I drove it for literally like nine years. It was incredible, right? But then, I was like, well, my mom and my stepdad kind of needed a car, and I was getting the itch, right? I started making a little bit more money. I'm like, you know what? Maybe it's time. Maybe it's time to finally upgrade and get a nicer car. And so I went and I looked, and I saw a BMW M4. Oh, my goodness. This car, when I drove it, it was, like, unbelievable, right? Amazing. The power, the speed, the sexiness. And I drove it, and I ended up not really loving it. And the reason why I didn't really love it that much is because it was really stiff. It was tough. It was like, it was a sports car, right? I came to realize that I'm more of like a cruising sedan type of dude. And so after my lease was up, I went and I bought the most beautiful sports car slash sedan, the M850i, woo, baby. That car was amazing. The other downside to it though is that it was really, really expensive. The sticker price was like $125,000. So I drove that for a little bit. It was right at the beginning of COVID and I'm like, I'm kind of wasting money. And so I got a message of like, hey, we'll buy it back. And I'm like, okay, let me get out of this lease. And so I'm like, what am I gonna do? I didn't really know. And so I got the mom car. Anyway, got the car, loved it. Well then something happened. So my wife's lease was about up, right? And I'm like, okay, what are we gonna get? And so she looked around. We looked at different things and if you guys haven't paid attention to the car market it is crazy right now all the prices of used cars are insane and trying to get something new is really difficult and so there was this one car that she kind of liked but it was going to take literally almost a year to order it by the time we would actually get it and so i'm like you know what Instead of extending this lease and wasting another like ten or fifteen thousand dollars, what if I actually used that money and bought something and then ultimately gave it to my mom and my stepdad because they really don't have a reliable car? And so, you know, the Infinity is not doing so hot, her little Toyota not doing so hot. And so that's what I did. I ended up ordering a Subaru Outback wilderness. Whoo, baby, I'm talking that bad boy is sexy, but that's not the car I'm driving. I got it and I decided, you know what? I don't even want to drive this new car. I want to give it to my mom and my stepdad because, you know, they don't have the opportunity to really experience a new car. And I'm not like humble bragging. I'm just letting you know kind of the situation. And so I wanted them to like enjoy it and love it and geek out over it. And so I ended up getting myself a car gave my wife the BMW. The car that I have, and I'm gonna drive until it breaks. My Infiniti G35. 07, baby. Yeah, the, the, literally, this is the car, this is my old car. The Infiniti G35 2007, gentlemen, is back in the Alpha M house, and this is my car for, I don't know how long, like, as long as it lasts, honestly because um, my wife's driving my BMW and I'm like, you know what, I got in and the first time I drove it, I was like, this is a little <laughs> little different um, because it, it literally has like 180,000 miles on it and it's an old car, right? It's 2007, but it still runs and it still looks fine and you know, it's got some, got some, got some wear on it, right? Look at that beast, woo, baby, right? I actually remembered when I, when I did it that, Headlights, little little foggy, right? Little little beat up, but you know, it's really not that bad. And inside, right? Let's check it out. All right. Little issue there, no big deal, right? Steering wheel, not exactly brand new, but uh, overall it's uh not that bad. It's so um, originally when I got this, I was like, okay, I'm going to just drive this until we can order my wife's car. I'll take the BMW back, but I don't know. I'm just kind of like, I don't care. And, um, I'm kind of actually enjoying driving this car again. And you know, some, something interesting though, that I just would like to say, I never thought that it would really make a difference. You know, I've talked about, you know, when you wear a nice watch, one of the things that it does, it boosts your confidence, right? 
like automatically you walk in a room and you just feel like a little bit better about yourself i didn't realize this but <laughs> apparently cars are kind of the same thing and you know and i'm not saying that you should buy a nice car if you can't afford it but there's something about driving a nice car that makes you feel good right and when i got in this and started driving it around it was a little bit like <laughs> it was and i'm embarrassed to actually even admit this i'm just telling you because well this is kind of a <laughs> kind of a kind of my thing um i was a little bit like not embarrassed because it's a fine car right first world problems i'm not saying that but it was it was definitely different i've been driving you know nice you know cars for the past you know five or six years and getting back in this even though this is not like a horrible car it's definitely not like a luxury car and there are a lot of things that are different in terms of like steering and the way that it performs and handles and there's no satellite radio and i'm such a spoiled little brat so i'm gonna rock this bad boy for as long as it lasts um once i start having like more problems with it i'm definitely not gonna i'm not gonna i'm not gonna be into that but for right now it's a fine car it works it runs and i'm gonna save a little bit of money this car was like the first like big boy purchase that i made after my bankruptcy after my fitness center um collapsed and so it is a little bit sentimental i remember being at the dealership and they're like uh your credit isn't great you might have to have your your then girlfriend co-sign for you and i was like there's there's no way i'm asking her to do that she's already supported me through my bankruptcy and and we're like no way and we ended up figuring it out and so I was able to buy this and I was so proud of this car and just I really loved it and it was the first like kind of big thing I did after that really horrible situation and one of the things that told me all right you're gonna be okay it was right you know sort of right after I started you know posting YouTube videos or right around the time that I started posting YouTube videos and so it was symbolic right it was just a it was a hard time in my life and this was something good and um, it's back in my life and uh, just wanted to tell you about it and share with you a situation and uh, I'm gonna dig it I'm gonna roll with it and when I'm done with this now I'm actually going to give it away to one of you guys I don't know how but I'm gonna figure out a way to uh, to give it away because um, it's definitely a badass car and I'm sure that some of you would love to have it and so stay tuned but this car eventually is gonna be one of yours guys thanks for everything and I'll see you soon I love you thank you bye